Hey everybody, welcome back. Jordan here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the entire LEGO City. Over the last week, I've made lots of changes to the LEGO City and I've been working on details. And I'm really excited to show you each section of the city. Some of the things that we've added and some of the things that we plan on doing in the very near future. As you can see, we've got the train going around. That's the passenger train. Pretty awesome. They're looking great on the ballast train track. Made some changes to the train track. Let's start with that. Now I've had ballast train track in my LEGO city for quite some time. It definitely elevates the look of the track. Very part intensive though. On the side here, I recently added all of these flowers and bushes. And on the corner here, we also have some trees and also a different height with a little bit of plate work there giving us a little bit of elevation. I've also added train crossings right here. And also over here. However, I did run out of these and I've got to get some more. Those come from the new Lego City road plates. You'll probably notice something else a little different about the train track. It now has a fence that goes all the way around the track, sheltering it from the city. And I think that looks pretty awesome. Now, what we've done is we've used four by six plates essentially to create this large wall that goes all the way around the perimeter of the track. Now, what's really cool about the way we decided to do it was that now we have this whole face here in which we can work on and we can add details to. Originally I was thinking that this could only be done using bricks, but a fellow fan actually came up with the idea, why don't we use brackets and plates and plate the whole side? And what we plan on doing with the face that's facing toward the city is adding graffiti. And we're gonna be doing graffiti by using dots kits, that's right. Dots kits, because they create all these awesome designs using all of the quarter tiles and square one by one tiles, etc. And we're going to graffiti the entire thing, adding an intricate detail design around the entire city. So I've got a few of these dots kits here. Got that one there. Got a couple poly bags as well. And then this larger one here. These offer us a lot of great pieces that are going to allow us to create that intricate design all the way around the train track, and I'm really excited about that. You can see that the train track is now fenced off here and all the way back by the Disney Castle as well. And we're gonna add intricate design all over that. And we also added this little propane area right here. We've got the propane bullet here, and then we're gonna add a little propane shack here so people can come in here, fill up their propane tanks, and it's just a nice use of this weird, random, oddly shaped corner element right here. Also, I've added some railroad crossings here as well. And I didn't ballast my uh, switch track, but I actually added tiles to the bottom of it to give it that same color contrast. And I've also ballasted mostly all of the track here in the city. So a lot of track to be ballast. I want to do all of the stuff in the train yard as well, but it's very part intensive. Slowly but surely we are getting it all done. Actually, this is all ballast now too, which is a new change as well. So the train track is coming along. The ballasting definitely increases the complexity of it and it looks pretty amazing. As we take the train over here, we see the Ninjago platform. The track underneath the Ninjago platform has yet to be done. However, when we do our cliff edge, you won't be able to see that really. You'll see that I've guarded this, or I've sheltered this portion of the train track using some of these rock panels right here on the other side of the Disney Castle. I know they're all the same and it looks uniform, but that's sort of what Disney does. So I figured that actually is a pretty good use of these rock panels and you can see them all in the back here. Now that integrates into our new little train entrance here. It's got the arch. Actually, I forgot to do this, but I want to mount this skull above the tunnel just like that there. 
It's actually Tangem that suggested that one. It's actually a really good idea, so I probably will be doing that. But that brings us to our newest feature, which is the waterfall. So the waterfall looks pretty awesome. I built it using trans elements. It's pretty great. It's layered and layered and layered. I really like the waterfall. It's got some MERPs on either side of it, and then we've increased the complexity of those MERPs by using all the different slopes. I still have to do it on the face of them, and then we have to do a corner MERP here and continue that cliff edge all the way along the front of the Ninjago platform. So all of this will become rock work as well. Now what I'm probably gonna do is take these fishing shacks and work them into the cliff edge somehow. And then we might have like a goat path going up to the top of Ninjago. The cliff edge itself will come up and over the water level and this will be a water reservoir. I also am going to use all MERPs along the back here to create a cliff edge that's about probably that tall to give the effect that this Ninjago district is up a mountain. There's a pool of water that's flowing down into the amusement park area, but then we can have another cliff edge behind it with more waterfalls running down to give it a sort of sense of depth and the sense that this is a mountain going up, hypothetically. I would like to raise the Temple of Erjitsu up and just above the docks as the docks is a little bit low. And I think it would look really good if it was just peeking out over top there. Lots of work to do with all the water in the Ninjago area and all the water in every center of the city, including the amusement park and the beach as well. I would like to tile it all just like that there on the base of our waterfall. Also, another thing that I'd like to do to the waterfall is add some white, just so there's a little bit of, of water foam. The amusement park is populated, same with the entire LEGO city, because we had the news over here. Was it re really ready to be populated? Probably not, but I've also been putting some work into this area as well. We have to finish up platform nine and three quarters and also that restaurant there. And then we have our Brixie Land entrance. I've got to figure out what we're going to do here, tile that all off, maybe add some merchants and stuff like that. Also create a, a safe crossing there over the railroad. Do some more uh, bushes and trees and planters and whatnot all throughout this area to make it more crowded, more clustered. So I just want it to be crowded and clustered. I think that'll look a lot better. The main thing that I've been working on here in the amusement park is actually the go-kart track. Recently I acquired a lot of pieces and that is the cheese wedges in one by one red and one by two white. And also the elements that hold our tire in place. I believe those are two by two modified plates with the Technic pin. Yeah, so I've got a hundred of those, but I guess I need more. Yeah, I recently bought a hundred of them. Not enough because some of the tire elements over here to the exit of the tunnel with the mixer on it are not pinned in place. So I've got to get more of those. Also, you can see I've ran out of cheese wedges in red and I'm not able to finish the berm that goes around the go-kart track. I also have to create the entrance for the go-kart track, which I'll probably go right here. And then I also have to continue to modify that mixer platform. I'm gonna add a roller coaster to it, I'm gonna add the observation tower, I'm gonna increase the size of the stairs, and also gonna add a staircase that goes over top of this so people can access the adult area of the amusement park. But slowly but surely, we're accumulating the parts and just working on things here, and I'm really excited about it. I've gotta decide what we're gonna be doing with Pirates of Barracuda Bay, if I'm just gonna make the Pirates of Barracuda Bay and have it like that, or if I'm gonna turn this into like a water slide park or something like that, in which they can rent canoes or little boats or little dinghies at this little boat rental thing, come over here and then uh, dock up or uh, disembark at the water park or Pirates of Barracuda Bay. I still gotta decide what we're doing there, either something completely custom pirate themed water park or just straight up Pirates of Barracuda Bay in the island form. So as you can see, it's been a pretty busy week We've been working on the amusement park and also working on enclosing the train track and finishing the ballasting around the train track. I think it looks pretty good with that rock edge there, hey? It's like the perfect height. It hides both the trains and it's pretty snazzy. As you can see right here, this is where our corner is gonna go and there's gonna be another arch there and that's where the Disney train will pop out. I would like to ballast all the train track in the Disney area as well. And then we'll get that 
rock edge back there with the Temple of Air Jutsu. Have that rock all come over top. Have like a water reservoir up top there. That's gonna look amazing. One other thing that I have to do as well is work on my street signs still. Uh, sorry, my street lights and signs. I ordered some of the OK Brickwork street signs so we can get those stickered up. I also have to do what I've done here to the entire city. Put a tile on the back and then I have these extra packs as well and they come with some great sticker elements in which I'm going to be uh, putting onto the 2 by 3 tile, the white one there, so that we can have some street signs and stuff. And that's really going to make it look good. Also, Toadborg suggested that why don't I take one of these lights, whether it's red, yellow, or green, and make it a solid one by one circular tile. And that will indicate which light is currently lit so that we can have a solid green one there and a car passing through the intersection. I love that idea. I'm definitely going to sit down here one day and I'm going to make that all happen. And it's going to look fantastic. I'm really excited about adding their graffiti going around the train track as well. It's going to look sweet. We've got some epic designs already being brewed up and really a combination of any of those quarter tiles is going to look really good. As you can see, we've got lots of space here to do plants and bushes and trees and everything as well. I do have a huge Bricklink order. No, nope, not Bricklink, but uh, Pick a Brick Online uh, from the Lego group and that's an order coming from them. Uh, and it's got a whole bunch of the two by two circular uh, bricks in it and also tree limbs. I can't believe we're still waiting for that but it is what it is. They're gonna show up here and I'm gonna be able to add some bigger trees all throughout the Lego city. Cause you can see all the little trees over here are sort of like dwarf trees. So we're definitely gonna add some monster trees here in the Lego city all throughout. And we're gonna be building the costume shop right away. So that's gonna fill in this area here as well. We can get rid of all those construction workers, probably put another fountain in the middle here and make an entrance or just sort of increase the complexity and improve the entrance of the Brixie Land Amusement Park. And that corner building, which is the costume shop, is going to look sweet. Yeah, moving along down here, I haven't really touched over here yet, but it's coming along. I mean, we got those street lamps placed and sorry, street lights, traffic lights placed. Uh, this still needs some work. You can see that I've got some broken down ships here. That's because those are going to go on the platform underneath the Lego City for the deep sea area. They're going to be like broken down ships and stuff like that. I've got a bunch of deep sea stuff and that's a huge project that I want to work on right away too. I don't really want to do that until I'm done doing what I'm doing over there. However, it would be nice to start like a rough draft of that just to get some stuff off, off the floor and in place and just sort of rough draft it up. I think it's time for that. I'll probably do that within the next week or so. Another thing I have to do here in the beach area is integrate this beach house right here. And I've got to get that placed, sort of have to peel off some of the sand wherever, probably right here, peel off all that sand and then put that in place because it just looks better than that one there. Yeah, lots of stuff going on. I can't wait to get the ballasting done here in the train yard too. That'll really make it look really good. Could you imagine if all the train yard was ballast? It would look like night and day. It just sort of looks gray. It looks sort of boring right now. But if it was all of that black ballasting, it would look really cool. By the way, I know I need some of the one by one tiles. Oh yeah, and then we have the haunted house here. I'm gonna raise that up on some mert pieces and put a cave underneath it as well. So it's like the house on the hill above the graveyard and that's gonna look slick. Also, we're gonna be getting Winnie the Pooh and Winnie the Pooh is gonna be integrated into this area as well. So lots of things going on here, lots of progress being made, slowly but surely getting this stuff done and it's looking fantastic. I'm super pumped up and I cannot wait to continue building this city. Probably never get it done, but get it looking snazzy with cliff edges and complicated or complicated complex water and just looking awesome with big trees and lots of detail that's what we're going for because this looks awesome and detail is amazing guys that's about it for today wanted to share what with you what i've been doing over the last week or so here in the lego room and in the lego city Whew, i think it's coming along great remember to like subscribe and stay tuned